Arthrex's interlaminar endoscopic approach for a discectomy is an ultra-minimally invasive surgery, ideal for patients who have been diagnosed with a paracentral lumbar disc herniation. In this procedure, the endoscope is used to assist in the approach for access and visualization. Place the patient in the prone position and use a C-arm to verify the correct level being treated using both AP and lateral images based on the preoperative MRI. Use a six-step approach to complete the procedure. Step 1. The Bullseye Use a switching stick to identify the entry point, which is the lateral aspect of the ipsilateral interlaminar window. Make an incision between 8 to 10 millimeters through both the skin and fascia. An alternative method utilizing serial dilators can also be used. Insert an introducer needle. Remove the stylet and pass a guide wire through the cannula and then remove the cannula. Insert serial dilators over the guide wire until the appropriate diameter is achieved. Continue utilizing dilators for steps 2 and 3. Step 2. The click. Use fluoroscopy and insert the switching stick into the interlaminar window and on top of the ligamentum flavum. The tip of the switching stick is used to traverse the inferior edge of the lamina in a caudal to cranial direction. This action should create a tactile click as the tip of the switching stick comes over the edge of the lamina. Insert the cannula over the switching stick, then remove the switching stick and insert the endoscope. The surgeon may choose to connect the cannula holder to aid in maintaining the trajectory. Connect the holder to the cannula prior to the switching stick being removed. A depth stop may be attached to the endoscope to maintain the depth within the cannula. Arthrex offers a unique wishbone handle design that allows for improved ergonomics and mobility of the instrument by the surgeon. Step 3. Cleaning the trampoline Once the endoscope has been inserted, insert a series of grasping instruments and the electrosurgery probe through working channel of the endoscope to remove excess tissue and coagulate blood vessels to expose the ligamentum flavum. Step 4. The Black Hole Use both the straight and angled scissor punch instruments to resect the ligamentum flavum and to gain access to the spinal canal, which will present itself as the look of a black hole. This is caused by irrigation fluid moving into the spinal canal, creating negative pressure on the cauda equina, thereby expanding the epidural space. Step 5. Identify the edge of the nerve root. Once a sufficient amount of ligament has been excised, Slowly advance the cannula through ligament and into the spinal canal with the bevel of the cannula facing medial and allowing the edge of the nerve root to be clearly visualized. Step 6. Retract and protect. Mobilize the nerve root by using instruments such as a blunt tip elevator, nerve hook, and articulating probe to release any scar tissue that may be adhered to the dura. Once the nerve root has been mobilized, advance and rotate the cannula to retract and protect the nerve root. With the nerve root retracted and protected, use a blunt instrument, such as an elevator, to put pressure on the annulus, releasing the nucleus pulposus. Next, use grasping forceps to extract the exposed nuclear material. Use the electrosurgery probe to ablate nuclear material and minimize the annular defect. The ball tip probe is used to ensure a free and mobile nerve root, with no remaining disc fragments encroaching the nerve. Once complete, slowly remove the scope and cannula. We are applying jumpstart dressing to the incision site.